Hey everyone, so here is the Robbins and Myers Gearback Oscillator Tank that uh, came back here. It's uh, 11510 that came to live with me a little, a little while ago, within the last month, I think. Anyway, um, so now you're seeing the fan with the cage back on it. Um, it had, it had a couple of, a couple of screws down here. Sorry, I'm getting my hand in the way. Had a couple of screws down here that were missing, so the cage was loose. It had, it was missing this. This is, this is, oh, that's going to be fun. <laughs> Sorry. This is the oscillating shoulder screw that um you can see is no ordinary oscillating shoulder screw it's got a knurled edge there it's got a stepped shoulder and it's got a weird weird size thread that is definitely not standard and you can't get it anywhere so this is a new this is a this is a used shoulder screw that i managed to source from chad baker at uh antique fan parts thanks chad um, and this screw is kind of one of the finishing pieces that just needs to go up there and you, you fit it into whichever hole you want, want it to go into. Not really a great design because, um, obviously the neural is so you can take it out and Put it back in but not really a great design because easily lost and maybe back in the day you could easily get them but not today um, you'd actually have to have someone make that so I was super pleased to find it anyway so um, I've got it on the Variac at 110 volts it's a 50 cycle fan so I'm gonna put it on low and I mean 50 cycles on 110 I ought to crank it up to 120 volts since that what's what uh, that's what wall current actually is but I mean 50 cycle at 110 volt on low is so sweetly quiet I mean it's whisper quiet it's so quiet and it's a continuous oscillator so as you can see works great and is extraordinarily quiet and then and you put it up and it gets progressively a little bit louder but it's still extremely extremely pleasant Oscillating shoulder screw works perfectly. Nothing like having the right one. Now, I may be hearing a little bit more of a motor whine than normal. And that's high. I might be hearing a little bit more of a whine than normal only because the fan is metal on glass. And here is the base plate with its original green felt, which you can see is terrible. So, and all rusty, so I'm gonna have to take this and take the felt off, which is this ring through here, and uh, put that in the electrolysis tank to get all the rust off of that. And then I'll clear coat the base, uh, the base plate so that it won't rust anymore. And put it back on the fan and really kind of put it all back together. But anyway, I'm gonna turn that back down. It really is just a sweet, sweet fan on low. And uh, when you're tired of having it oscillate, then you just, it's really easier to do this when the fan isn't on. Much easier to do it when the fan isn't on. So what you can
can do then is you just try and do this while the time is running. Yeah, so this is a good reason why they invented a different different type of oscillator. And you just try and Surprised I was able to get that. So then, when you stick it in the center hole there, and all of a sudden, the fan no longer oscillates. The bad part of that, the fan is completely locked in position forward, and now, now it won't move. So, you know, not wonderful. I'm not surprised they went to a different design for this. But... Still though, sweet running fan, really happy to get it. One, one, five, one, zero. I think the zero on the end of that is uh, when they, when the fans went from rubber feet to uh, basically covered with felt, at least that's what someone's opinion that I read, maybe that's correct. Anyway, that's with minimal maintenance. Thanks for watching.